Good morning, I'm Chang Qingzhang from Tianjin University. Our method is latent multi-view subspace clustering. In real applications, data usually can be represented with multi-modalities or multi-types of features. We call them multiple views. As shown in this figure, a single view is usually insufficient to describe the underlying data distribution. So in this work, we propose to use multiple views for subspace clustering to discover the, the structure of data. For subspace clustering, there are several steps. The key one is learning the self-representation. And then based on it, we can construct the affinity matrix and perform spectral clustering to obtain the final clustering result. There are several representative single view subspace clustering methods. The key difference is the regularization terms for the self representation matrix, including sparse, low rank, and smooth. Recently, based on the single view subspace clustering methods, several multi view subspace clustering methods have been proposed. Though they can achieve much better performance than that of single view methods, we find that these methods often construct the self-representation matrix on each single view. As mentioned above, we know that each single view is usually difficult to describe the underlying structure of data. So here, we propose to use a latent multi-view representation for subspace class 2. In our model, we try to recover the latent multi-view representation and then use it to jointly perform subspace clustering. That is to say, we want to recover a latent representation H from each single view, for example, x1, x2, uh, we can, which can integrate the information from different views. So our objective function is as follows. It contains two error terms. One is the reconstruction error of self-representation, and the other one is the reconstruction error from the latent multi-view representation to each single view. By combining these error terms, we can obtain the final robust objective function. Experiment results on synthetic data showing that our method with multiple views achieve better results than that of single view. Experiments on real data validated that our method not only outperforms traditional multi-view class two methods, but also the state-of-the-art multi-view subspace class two method. As shown in this figure, the latent multi-view representation can better reveal the class two structure than that of each single view. K-means clustering with latent multi-view representation can achieve better performance than with each single view. There are several advantages of our method. For example, latent representation, it can deal with multiple, multiple view data with unbalanced dimensions. It is simple to use since there is only one parameter to tune and extensible. The main limitation include only linear correlation between latent representation and each view and a little higher complexity. Thank you.